So start by getting yourself a cardboard tube. I cut mine down to 14 inches, just using a utility knife to cut off the end there. And then you want to paint most of it black. I left a few spaces so I could grab with my fingers and they'll be covered up with foil anyway. It's about an inch from the one end, wrap a line of silver foil, then measure a piece of black foam. You want it to leave a little bit of silver showing and cover about half the black part at the bottom. So then put a piece of silver foil over it, leaving a little bit of black at the bottom and a little tail of the foil on the end. Cut off the excess on the side, but still keep the tail. And then you'll actually wrap that around. You can glue it in place or the silver foil should be enough to stick it in place as well. Just like that. Again, leaving a little bit of the silver foil and it gives it dimension. Then make an indentation in a piece of two millimeter craft foam and cut out that circle on the inner edge. Run a little bit of glue around the inside of the tube and slide that circle right in there. Then make another indentation on another piece of foam. And this time I used a utility knife to cut it out because I wanted to save the circle and I wanted to keep the out round intact as well. And then I just cut around it, leaving about a half an inch all the way around. And that should slide right on the other end of the tube, the open end, down to that second part of black paint. And then the inner circle, I just glue it into the end of the tube. So then take a rectangle of black foam and just fold that around the very end of the tube. Cut four triangles of foam and glue them on so that the flat edges are at the top. Gluing all four of them on right across from each other, just like that. Then wrap a piece of silver foil around that upper section, leaving a little bit of black at the top. And then slide down the black foam, put a little bit of glue at the base of the silver foil, and then slide the black foam up there to glue it securely in place. Put another piece of silver foil a little below the foam and just covering the lower part of the black section. Then cover a thin piece of foam with silver foil and wrap that at the base of the silver section. Cut a bunch more of those thin strips and you're just going to glue those around the black part all the way down, just like that. Then cut a rectangle of cardstock and cut out two thin rectangles. Cover it with some silver foil and then cut those same slits out of the silver foil as well. And then you're just going to wrap that around that lower portion of the middle silver section. And then cover another rectangle of cardstock with some silver foil and wrap that a little above the other one. That gives it a little bit of dimension there. And then take a larger piece of cardstock wrapped in silver foil and wrap that around the top piece. And then another smaller piece a little bit below that, again leaving a gap for dimension. And then cut a rectangle out of some black and red paper, glue the red one on top of the larger black one, and glue the whole thing on the upper part of the lightsaber. Make a little dot of gold puffy paint on the end of that, and then make four dots of gold puffy paint on the lower middle section there. Draw a box of silver puffy paint all the way around them, and then do the same thing on the back side, four gold dots and a silver box around them. And then at the very top, draw a large triangle with silver puffy paint. For the emitter, I just cut two little rectangles because I really couldn't see a good shot of what the emitter looked like, so I just glued these two little rectangles of foam uh, at the very top and the end of the lightsaber for that to be the emitter, and so there's the entire lightsaber. And so here's another little preview of my cosplay book progress. This is that awkward moment when the friend taking your pictures puts on a bad wig and jumps into the frame. Yes, my Raven cosplay will be in my upcoming book, but no, my friend's suburban dad cosplay will not be.